Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the heat exchanger interview questions and answers. So I got so many comments from your side that sir please cover the heat exchangers interview question and answers. So this video is useful for the chemical engineering, process engineering and mechanical engineering students as well as the engineers who has the experience of 3 to 10 years right. So we will cover the questions from the basic to the advanced level okay and this is the part 1 video and we will try to upload part 2, 3, 4 okay and I will make one playlist of heat exchanger okay where we will only discuss about the interview question and answer. Same we have made for the centrifugal pump interview question and answer right. So let's start the video and our first question is that what is heat exchanger and how does it work okay see this is the very basic question right like anyone can ask you if you are going for the interview right if you are a fresher chemical engineer or mechanical engineer okay this question could be asked to you like what is heat exchanger right so a heat exchanger is a mechanical device which is used to transfer heat between two or more fluids ensuring they either do not mix or mix only slightly. See when we talk about the heat exchanger so there are multiple types of the heat exchanger right. So and this type of the heat exchanger is the cell and tube heat exchanger. So simply in a heat exchanger what happens that one side your cold fluid flows and in another side the hot fluid flows right. So what happens that see we know like one thing we know that the heat flows from higher temperature to the lower temperature right. So what will happen that the hot fluid will give its heat to the cold fluid right and that's how what will happen that this hot fluid will become cold or cooler right and this cold fluid will become hotter means the temperature of the hot fluid will be slightly down and the temperature of the cold fluid will be goes up like that and it will goes like that. I hope you understood my point and that's how and that's why we use the heat exchanger in the chemical industries, refinery, fertilizer and, and in any process plant. I hope you understood my point what I want to say. Now it works by facilitating the exchange of thermal energy, thermal energy means your heat okay between the fluids through a solid barrier, solid barrier means your tubes right maximizing the efficiency and minimizing the energy loss. See ultimately what we want for example you have to send you have to send the fluid to the reactor okay and to achieve the maximum conversion in this reactor you want your fluid should be reach or your when your fluid enters into the reactor it should have a specific temperature right. So we can use the heat exchanger to achieve that temperature whether you have to cool that fluid or you have to increase the temperature of that fluid right. So that's how we use the heat exchanger. I hope you understood the point okay it was the basic that what is heat exchanger and how does it work. Now the next question is what are the common types of heat exchangers okay. See in an industry there are different different types of the heat exchangers. For example you will see the cell and tube heat exchangers here you can see in the picture right. The plate type heat exchanger here you can see the plate type heat exchangers right. There is U tube heat exchanger this one is your U tube heat exchangers right. There are other types of the heat exchangers as well like for example fin tube heat exchangers, air cooled heat exchangers. I will show you the picture from the google. See these are the cell and tube heat exchanger okay. Here you can see simply this is the cell and tube heat exchanger okay. There will be one cell, cell is the outer cover and within that there will be the tube. Within the cell and tube heat exchanger there are multiple types of the cell and tube heat exchanger that we will discuss in our upcoming videos. Now the most widely used heat exchanger in nowadays in a chemical industry that is your 
plate and type heat exchanger right in a plate type heat exchanger also there are gasket type of the heat exchanger welded type heat exchanger that we will discuss in our upcoming videos but these are the plate type heat exchanger okay then there is the finned tube heat exchangers okay these types of the heat exchanger you can simply see like your uh, oil fired heater mainly in a winter we use also in a motor you will see these types of the fins we use to transfer the heat okay to cool that motor okay so these types of the heat exchangers also we use air cooled heat exchangers also we use right so these are the some types of the heat exchanger which is used in our industry mainly or widely silent tube and plate type of the heat exchangers are used fine now whenever we select the heat exchanger so it depends on some criteria okay so see every heat exchanger has its own advantage and disadvantage right now when we are selecting any particular heat exchanger so it will have its specific application okay and whenever we select the heat exchanger so there are some criteria which we follow and that we will discuss in the upcoming videos okay for example some factors we use the first one is your process requirement what is your process requirement okay what is the space availability then what is the pressure we want what is the temperature we want at the outlet what are the fluid properties what is the density what is the viscosity how that fluid behaves whether that fluid is hazardous or not whether it is toxic or not so some criteria which we follow before going to the types of heat exchanger right now the next question is what are the primary application of heat exchangers so simply whenever we say the primary application so the primary application is cooling simply you can say cooling or heating the fluid okay with respect to technical how technical know how there could be the different different application of the particular or specific heat exchanger right but ultimately what that heat exchanger will do whether it will cool or it will heat right so a heat exchangers find application in various industries including havoc havoc means your heating ventilation and air conditioning systems okay it is used in the refinery fertilizer chemical industries power plants chemical processing plants refrigeration system and automotive engines so everywhere whenever you see any heat exchanging device you can simply say that is a heat exchanger for example a car radiator is also a type of the heat exchanger right now they are crucial for processes involving heat recovery temperature control and energy conservation obviously sometimes we use some heat exchangers to see from the waste heat we increase the temperature of the process fluid okay and then we send that fluid to the another system okay wherever the requirement of that process fluid so what we do we do the energy conservation as well as we as well as we optimize the process right sometimes what we do from the waste heat we produce the low pressure steam okay that is also the example of energy conservation and efficiency fine what is the next how do engineers optimize heat exchanger performance okay see there are two scenario whenever we discuss this point the first scenario is when you are sizing the heat exchanger when you are sizing the heat exchanger and the second scenario is when you are in a plant right so engineer optimize heat exchanger performance by considering factors such as fluid flow rates means q temperature differentials means delta t surface area and material selection means moc fine so these criteria falls into the sizing okay whenever you are doing the sizing so you will see all these criteria okay then you may use the computational fluid dynamics okay you can do the simulation in spin hysis or in htri okay and you can also do the experiment testing to fine tune the design and improve the efficiency while minimizing the pressure drop and falling 
this following is very very important to consider as well as press our dog now the another consideration is plant okay see when like we are talking about the sizing we are talking about the design all expect we will discuss in our upcoming videos okay i will prepare the heat exchanger playlist where from the scratch from this part one video to the part two three four five to ten part we will cover each and every point whatever asked in a interview okay we will also discuss about the sizing we will discuss about the designing we will also discuss about the steps which is involved in the sizing also we will involve what problem comes into the plant okay with respect to heat exchanger don't worry we will discuss each point in brief okay now whenever we whenever there is the plant they, like there is a heat exchanger in the plant so how engineer optimize obviously we monitor monitor the heat exchanger okay whatever the range of temperature are there okay whether that temperature that heat exchanger is achieving or not okay if there is some scaling is there okay that we could simply get to know from this temperature okay from this delta t okay what we do sometimes we clean the tube sometimes we do the hydrojet okay sometimes we do the chemical cleaning to optimize the heat exchanger performance when it is already erected in the plant right okay now the next is what are the challenges associated with heat exchanger operation so it means that your exchanger is already in the plant it is erected okay so what challenges comes sometimes you will see that you will not achieve the delta t whatever the delta t you have designed or you think that it will achieve or it was achieving now it is not achieving so the one thing it could be right so the challenges include falling corrosion obviously scaling could be there and the thermal stress could be there because there are the tubes okay the falling occurs when deposits accumulate the deposits accumulate on heat transfer surfaces okay and reducing the efficiency that's why we do the hydrojetting sometimes back washing also we do then the corrosion and scaling can damage heat exchanger components over time obviously it could be happen okay and that's why whenever you will see whenever we design the heat exchanger so we also take the corrosion allowance okay and for scaling you can do the hydrojetting and chemical cleaning thermal stress may occur due to temperature gradient okay we know about like whenever the temperature increases so what happens that the metal contracts and expands okay and because of that the thermal stress comes into the picture so but while designing we consider that thermal stress okay and we take count of the thermal stress and potentially it potentially leading to the mechanical failure if not properly okay then the regular maintenance and monitoring are essential to mitigate these challenges and ensure the optimal performance okay see obviously when like if there is some heat exchanger okay and it is not giving the proper uh, performance or the delta t you will have to frequently give give that heat exchanger for for the maintenance or, or like in a month maybe you can give that to for the maintenance and you will have to monitor that heat exchanger okay and in your atr or in short shutdown maybe you can attain that heat exchanger okay so it was the five questions about the heat exchanger i hope you got to know something new about the heat exchanger if you have any doubt in the heat exchangers okay in these five questions you can let me in the comments box i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you